Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Sorry if that is distracting, I am too lazy to move my mirror. Today, I am so excited because a few weeks ago, I placed an order at Elphily, which is, if you don't know, an athletic brand. And I have been waiting so anxiously to get this package in the mail. And it finally came today. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, this is more than $300 Canadian. So it's kind of a small package, but I only ordered like five things. So let's open it. Got my scissors. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, I got really confused for a second. I thought they were face masks, but um, yeah, it's packaged like this. Wow. I'm just gonna take everything out and then we'll go through what I got. Great. Oh my gosh. ASMR. Okay, extra small, small. They didn't mess up the sizing, that's good. So I guess I should talk about what I got. I have been watching Hope Scope for a while. She's like a fitness YouTuber or like, I guess like athletic wear YouTuber. She made a video or has made videos with Alphalete stuff in them. And I got really curious because their stuff looks really nice and cozy and it's super cute. So I placed an order with their new launch because before when I went to check their website, everything was sold out in my size. So I took advantage of the new relaunch and I placed my order that same day. Those two sets I have, or I got, were part of the new relaunch. But then this sweater was just on sale. So I got it because I really, really like gray and I wanted a crop um, sweater. Ah, okay, let's open this first since I'm holding it. Oh. Smells questionable. Oh. It's really soft. <gasps> ah! Oh my god, it's so cute. Wow. <gasps> what? <laughs> the thingy. It's called an aglet, right? Did you guys watch Phineas and Ferb? I'm pretty sure it's called an aglet. But the aglets are like plastic or wax or something. That's fun. Wow, okay. I'm gonna try it on. The inside is fluffy! Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> um, disregard this. I was too lazy to take it off. But look, this is what I'm saying. It's cropped, and yet it's perfect on me. Oh, that's, that's weird, yep. Like, what? It's literally, anyway, this part, fits me perfectly. I got a small. The inside is really fluffy and it's really comfortable. There's like a big pocket in the middle. Wow. A look with this, but it's really comfortable and I like it. The sleeve's a little long. It like bunches here, but I can go like this, which I always do. It's not too small at all. Actually, not small at all. Probably could have gotten an extra small, but that's okay. Ah! <laughs> Let's try the hood. I look horrible in hoods, but just for the full experience. <laughs> wow! Wow, I'm excited. Okay, first item quality seems amazing. It feels incredible. I would rate it five out of five. Okay, I guess if I'm gonna film my reaction, I actually need to get changed now. So I'm gonna put on a sports bra and then try on the first set. Oh my gosh, cute! Cute! Wow, she's an athlete. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about these biker shorts because um, on the website, they were saying if you're in between sizes, go down. I get extra small in everything, but I'm not sure. I mean, it should be fine. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Oh boy. Woo! Hmm, it kind of gives me a muffin top. I wouldn't say it's too tight, but if it was any tighter, it would be too tight. Ooh. 
<laughs> the thighs are fine. Yeah, I don't really look like I'm bulging out. Again, like, I'm always an extra small, so that's why I went with extra small. Even though they did say to maybe size up if you're, like, unsure. But I thought that a small would be too small. I don't know. I think it's okay, though. Um, if I wear them together, it's kind of like a muffin top-ish situation. You know? Also, just... Like... Zero torso. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I feel cute. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh! Hold on a second. Can you see? This is such a weird angle. It is so see-through. Oh my god. Wow. I don't even need to bend over or anything. It's like so see -through. Dang. Should I have gotten a small? This is upsetting. It doesn't feel tight though. Definitely unflattering though. It makes my stomach do that. It literally looks like it belongs to a child. It's so small. This one's super see-through too. What the heck? The top is really cute, although it's kind of loose. Like it's a little loose here. And then it's too tight here. I wish it was like the opposite. I'd be fine being too tight here. But this is what the second one looks like. I feel like this one's less tight. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully they stretch after a lot of wears and not shrink in the wash. That'd really suck. Wow, but I feel sleek. It looks so weird. I should like cover it. Oh my God. This one's also very see-through. Guess you'll just have to wear nude underwear or a thong or something, but I really like it. It makes me want to go to the gym. Overall, I think I would rate these two sets four and a half out of five. I am a little disappointed about the biker shorts. They did say, again, about the sizes, but I'm always an extra small. My waist is 23 inches, and I think the model um, was wearing a, a size S at 26 inches of a waist or something like that. So I was like, okay, well, my waist is three inches smaller. An extra small should be fine. I'm really hoping it stretches a little bit. Quality's great. I really like the details. I really like the fit and feel, and just like the aesthetic of the matching set. I think it's super cute. So yeah, overall four and a half out of five. The hoodie's perfect. It's not too short, not too long, and the quality feels amazing. So that's not an issue, five out of five. Overall, I would rate their stuff, at least from what I got, 4.8 out of five. Maybe if I got a small, it would have been too big. So maybe the sizing is a little bit weird um, for the smaller people out there, but I mean, I'm like crouching right now and it's not too heavy, heavy, not too tight on my waist. Actually not at all. So take that as you will. I do recommend this stuff. I haven't worked out in it and I haven't washed it, but Hope Scope says that it lasts pretty well. Uh, my friend who really likes Alphalete has no complaints. It seems pretty promising. After much deliberation, I've decided that I'm going to exchange the biker shorts going from an extra small to a small. This is actually really frustrating to me because on the website, on their sizing chart, it says to order an extra small if your waist is 24 or 25 inches and mine's 23. And it does say sizes are a little bit smaller on this particular style, but like still. It should have fit me, and it doesn't. So I'm just really, really hoping that the small fits me, or else I'm literally going to sue. I'm joking, but like not really. So I'm gonna send it in tomorrow, and I will be back once it arrives in another probably month. See you then. Okay, so I am back. It's literally been like 24 days since the last time I filmed this video. I'm wearing the same shirt and like the same jewelry just for the sake of continuity, but look what finally came in the mail. From start to finish, this whole process, like from my initial order all the way until the day I got this, which was about four days ago, has been 35 days. <laughs> So that's very, very, very annoying. Actually, two weeks after I had sent the gym, sh like their biker shorts, I contacted them because they, I still hadn't had any sort of communication from them whatsoever. Like I filed a return and then I literally returned them 
and then like absolute radio silence and I was like oh my god like did the package get lost like what is happening so I contacted them on June 7th which was a Sunday so then the next day they contacted me back and asked me to send the receipt to prove that I sent it and then like that day they sent my other biker shorts so initially I returned two both of them but in the red ones they didn't have my size anymore since it took so long I guess because the last time I checked like it was still on the website but so I only got like the gray ones back which is really unfortunate. The first time it took 17 days to ship to me and then the second time it took 18 days. From Texas to Toronto I wouldn't think it would take that long so maybe it's because of COVID but either way it was really long but their customer service is really good so at least there's that. Here we go. Whoops. I think I cut into the actual bag. So here it is. If they don't fit, I'm literally gonna give up. <laughs> here they are. Here's the back. It's literally the same as the other time, except one side's bigger. I got a small instead of an extra small. Because even though I am usually an extra small, yeah, whatever. You already saw it in the video. <laughs> I will try this on and be right back. All right, well, I it's definitely less tight than the extra small. It's definitely... Yeah, like, less of a muffin top. Um, not as see-through. Also, please ignore my background. Yeah, I know it's messy. This is how it looks. Um, okay, I'm gonna try the cherry ones, like, the cherry top that I got, because, uh, I just wore the top for this one tonight. I mean, this morning, and so it's already in the laundry. Okay, so this is how they look together. Honestly, I feel like I still look big. Do you see? And I feel like it's not compressing at all. And right now I'm being really honest. Like, if I was sucking in, it would be like that. So like, this is completely my natural body, but I feel like it's definitely less than last time. Like the muffin top, definitely less. I just really hate how it goes up here. Like, what is that? It should stop right here. Like, why is... I have a short torso, maybe that's why, but it like goes up. Like it like continues the curve instead of just stopping right in the middle, you know what I mean? But, all things considered, it is much better than the extra small. No camel toe, I don't think. Right? <laughs> wow, what a shot. But yeah, no camel toe. Or is this called a one hump? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna um, unzoom from my crotch because that's a little strange. Overall though, yeah. It's better. I'm excited to wear it. Um, excited to wear it with my set because that's why I got it in the first place. In terms of them being squat proof, honestly, I'd give them like a solid 9 out of 10. Um, right now I'm wearing light pink underwear and you can't really see them that well, I don't think. Um, okay, never mind. They are not squat proof. I just filmed the clip and I don't even think I can put it in because you can flat out see my underwear. Like completely see my underwear. So maybe I don't do squats in these, but they would be great for running, so yeah. And also since it's been such a long time since the last time I filmed, which is the day I got everything, I've worn the tops, both the black one and the red one, a couple times now because I've been running like every morning-ish, kind of, I've been trying to. They're really, 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 really good. Um, I've washed them in the wash with like regular clothing as well. A bunch of times and they're holding up pretty well so that's really good too I'm really really pleased with the tops overall I definitely prefer their tops over their bottoms but that might just because because of the way my body is I don't think I'll ever order biker shorts from them ever again <laughs> maybe I'll try leggings sometime but yeah I think I'm just gonna stick to their tops and apparently they've come out with some new sports bras that are actually pretty good so I might pick up a couple of those as well because I am still on my gym kick going strong during quarantine. So I think overall, everything considered, I'd rate Alphalete 
seven and a half out of ten like including shipping and customer service and material and fit and everything in terms of the things i got this time around like seven and a half or eight because yeah the biker shorts i don't know it's kind of a miss for me but i really like the tops but they're a little loose. <laughs> Honestly though, it's still pretty good and Alphalete is on the more affordable side of all the fitness clothing style brand things. So if you can afford it, I'd say go for it because you won't regret it. It's decent, like it's not bad at all. And I'm excited to wear the matching set. So I would show you that it's in the wash. Whoops, should have planned better. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little all over the place because of everything that happened. But I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below for more videos from me. I post every single Thursday. And yeah, have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.